Hello everyone, this is Bigowski, and this is part 23, the machine shop for my Hunter the Reckoning Nightmare Mode commentary walkthrough video series, playing as the character Judge. That really is a mouthful. <laughs> but anyway, it explains what I'm doing. Again, playing on Nightmare Mode. But I will say this section can be really tricky just with going in and out of a door that you'll see coming up sometimes i i meant to sometimes i didn't uh, with with the amount of enemies that spawn outside that door it could be problems how they jump on you pretty fast but here you've got to kill enough enemies to where one of the little hop along guys comes out and he'll drop a key so I could use my edge, or you know, my word of power right now to kill these guys, especially since I have an edge glyph right here. But I want to save my edge for some of the stronger enemies later on in the level. So this can be a little boring. God, how many times have I said that? But you want to keep your special weapons as, as much as possible. Uh, you want to keep your, your edge up as much as possible. Now be careful when you get into these sections because the skitters like to spawn right where I just walked over that little coal ash or whatever it is, the coal for the furnaces, and they can sneak up behind you. So I like staying kind of at this angle so I can always see them. But if you get close to the door, see the, the guy just dropped down right there. But if you get close to the door or farther over to the to the left hand side where the I was just, yeah right there where I'm shooting that guy over there. He will, uh, they could spawn and you might not hear them and then they come and blow you up. So just take your time. Again, I could, once I got that key, I could go out the door. But if I need to come back in here and I haven't killed these guys, those skitters will be running around the door. The, uh, see how that guy just spawned right on me and there's nothing I could do. It took a little damage. But if, if you go out that door and then come back in and those skitters around they can blow up and kill you so I kind of run around to just make sure that I kill them all and see again I have to punch uh, press my button twice now instead of once like I was doing earlier so I'm just running around right there to kind of get the guys and then you can see how the guys will, will spawn right on you and again you want to be careful uh, with the flamethrower guys because if they blow up and again, I didn't mean to go in the door right there But now that I'm in I know one of the skitters is probably going to drop but Like I said the last thing I want to do is come back in and there's two skitters waiting for me Now that's the one good thing about this uh, some of the other hunters their abilities don't let you shoot through the door like that so again another reason why I like playing because again if you don't didn't mean to do that but again might as well stay in here and wait for the skitters to come out well, yeah see So, like I said, if you come out and haven't thinned them out, I mean, there, there could, like, 20 guys spawn right in that whole area. So just, just be careful coming out that door. Again, you could load up with your shotgun and blast, but you're going to need that for later. So, again, being smart with your ammo. I don't like using as much as I have the flamethrower right there. I really don't like using that with a bunch of enemies around. Uh, it just doesn't seem to kill them fast enough. Maybe certain enemies it does, but I've really decided, you know what, I'm just not going to use that that often and stick with the one, the weapons that I know that'll knock them back and kill them fast or has some kind of range to where I don't have to get close. See, that was the bad part about using that edge right there as I was far, I, I was so far I couldn't really pick up the blue. I've tried doing it where I, I jumped down here and ran to the other end and tried to use my edge to kill, you know, a bunch of guys, but I just got overwhelmed too fast if I ran to the other end. So I was just, I'm just going to be methodical like I have been. 
to slowly thin them out and, you know, the main goal is to not uh, lose a life right here. Let's see, I kind of got myself trapped in the corner there. So again, just be mindful of your surroundings. And see, again, I'm, I'm, I see the blue, I'm going for it, and the guy spawns right on me. See that edge, I thought, you know, hey, it'll it'll kill these three guys and then I can focus on the guy back there, but you can just see how much damage that one guy is just doing from a distance. Like I said, I, I really don't want to use the life right here. I think I just got tired of picking those guys off. I know I'm going to pick up a shotgun here and use that. And see, Man, I sat there and pushed it like three times before it finally happened. Now those barrels do explode, but like I said, I wanted to use my shotgun to thin the crowd out a little bit because I know I'm going to pick it up. I want to, you know, maximize my ammo. Again, I don't know why sometimes it's 16 and sometimes it's 24. Maybe it's a different looking shotgun, and that's the reason why. I mean, I have no idea. Still haven't figured that one out. If anybody knows, let me know. Those barrels explode, so don't shoot them if you get close. If you got really overrun there, you might be able to stay inside that gated or that fenced area and, you know, thin out the crowd with your, your ranged weapon. So I'm just standing there to make sure these guys get kind of grouped together. As strong as my edge is, it's not going to take those guys out with one shot, but I want to use that you know, go ahead and use it one time and then go back up there and fill all the way up. So again, I don't think those skitters despawn. See, that might have been a little bit of a waste, but I didn't figure out what was going to come back in there. Oh, I have one more. I have one more. Again, it might have been just a little bit of, of a waste. Just that little bit might have helped me out. You know, I maybe could have done a couple more uh, uses of that edge and then fill back up. But like I said, I don't think those skitters despawn and will be running around the door when you come back in. So again, make sure you kill those before you leave. Go ahead and let them drop. You know, you might have to wait a little bit. I could use my rockets, but I'm really kind of saving them for the next level. So again, this doesn't do that much damage, but I know I, ha I know I'm going to be picking up some shot or some machine gun in the next section. So I might as well use it, you know, to take full advantage of it.
See, I didn't see that in time to pick up that blue, but I know I still have the one edge. Again, I'm always on the lookout when you come back in that room. They usually spawn pretty fast. So, you know, if I hadn't picked up my edge the last time and, and had two remaining edges right there, you know, to, the glyphs to pick up, you know, maybe I wouldn't have used as many bullets. I mean, like I said, it's, it's just a trade-off and you're going to have to, you know, figure out, you know, what's best for your play style. I'm always more of a cautious player. I wanted to see if I could jump up on top there. I didn't think I could. I might have done it before. And then maybe pick those guys off from up top. But again, you have enough edge. You never have enough weapon to be able to kill those guys. It's not that, you know, they're not that hard if you stay at a distance since they do the flame uh, thrower. Now here, you know, I ended the level and I saved one person, but I didn't gain a life. But that's okay. You know, I'm, I'm pretty good. This next section can be tough and tricky. But I'm happy with, you know, the amount of heavy weapons in terms of the rockets, the shotgun, the machine gun, the special weapons that I have. You know, I'm, I'm full on health and, and blue. So I'm good to go for this next section. It's going to be a little bit longer section. And because you fight two bosses, you know, you could have the potential to lose a lot of lives. But that's one reason why we saved our lives you know up to this point so if we have them hey might as well use them on these hard boss fights anyway that's it we'll see you in the next one hope you enjoyed it take care